Hello, and welcome to Bees and Tea Stitching. I'm your host, Sebastian, and as usual, Selena is not around. Uh, welcome to the Bees and Teas Extra. This is um, the Bees and Teas Extra number eight. <laughs> I, can, I can count, really. Um, and this is the advent for the cheese and the tea. So, let's get going, shall we? Oh, hey, Selena. You gonna come join me? No, apparently not. So, first is the Elster cheese that I got from um, Lidl. And let's see, so this is number eight. Where is number eight? There's number eight. All right. Let's see what we got here. If I can open it. Oh, shit. There we go. All right. Apparently does not want to be opened. I'm beginning to wonder if these might be... Um, yeah, Red Lester. I think these are going to be um, copies from now on. Well, that kind of sucks. I mean, it's good for me because I got the cheese, but not really as good for you guys because, you know, it'll be a lot less interesting. But let's go ahead and give it a try. Um, this is the Red Lester, so kind of a... Um, kind of a yellow cheddar sort of look to it. All right. And I don't honestly remember what I said the first time, so it'll be interesting maybe to see if I said something different the second, but... Uh, um... It's not like cheddar. I'm pretty sure I said that. And it is true. It doesn't have that kind of bitey cheddar sort of taste. Uh, Taste-wise, I can't really figure out what it's close to. Oh, no. Oh, I'm warm. Mm, I don't know. Something more smooth and creamy. Like a a Gouda or, or an Edom or something of that sort, I guess. I mean, again, it's good, and I, I don't mind it at all. Um, but yeah, unfortunately, I think the cheeses are going to get less interesting from here on, so I do apologize. I'll probably go uh, quicker on the cheeses. Hey, you want up? Come on. There we go. Hey, there's a little bit of Selena. Unfortunately, it's her butt. Sorry about that, guys. There you go. Hey, sweetie. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. I'm not sure what that, what's that little meow about him. And now she wants to sniff at my tea. So, I don't, I don't know if she can drink this tea or not. Um, so this is the T2 Sip the Future, which was just, um, oh, okay, she's gone already. Oh, well. Um, um. Fox and Rabbit, just, uh, they, they said this, and it's just amazing. I, I've been enjoying every moment. Um, they are actually doing a different T2 box, so, um, I believe it's actually on their Patreon, though. Um, so, yeah, they're, uh, doing something different, and so it has tea, but it also has, like, other items inside of it, like it had a teaspoon, he had a, um, Brendan's doing it. Um, so it's Karen and Brendan, um, uh, they are really, really sweet people. Um, so he's got a, um, tea ball with a little bee on it, which of course I was, um, jealous of. He got a little teaspoon. Um, I forget what other stuff he got. Mo I think most of the rest of it was actually teas. Um, interestingly enough, he got one a day or two ago that I think is the same one that I'm about to try. Um, uh, so number eight is, where is number eight? I forgot where you were. There it is. Recycle. So, um, and this is called Tummy Tea. So, once again, it's another herbal. They are really liking their herbals in here. Um, a little, oh, hi, hello again. You gonna come sit down? Hi. Hi, baby. There you go, good girl. Anyway. Oh, uh, sorry about that. So, Tummy Tea. A uh, little something yummy for your tummy. <laughs> Here's a, uh... A wonderful minty after-dinner treat uh, with a sumptuously smooth and sweet aftertaste that will linger well into the evening. Uh, peppermint licorice root 
marigold petals, and fennel. Uh, when I sniffed it, uh, I'm not a huge fan of licorice. Uh, apparently there's another one that has licorice in it after this, so, interesting. Um, but, um, apparently, it, you know, you have to put a warning that contains licorice. I'm not really sure why, but, um, when I sniffed it, um, it was a lot more of a pepperminty sort of flavor, which is kind of what I'm hoping for. Uh, I'm more of a fan of peppermint than licorice. So, let's give this a try. It's had a few minutes to steep. Oh. Don't, don't, ow. You guys saw that, right? Alright, be nice, alright? I don't know why you were in a mood today for some reason. Anyway, yep, my cat in a mood. Alright, let's try it. Ooh, yeah. It definitely smells, well, it smells pepperminty, but you can definitely smell something else too. I'm not sure what it is. Mmm, that's pretty good. It is definitely pepperminty. That is the overriding flavor that you get. Mmm, this is nice. This would be good, um, with maybe some, some cookies or something, you know, like something that goes well with peppermint. Maybe a little... A little chocolate or something. Alright, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, I'm not really getting the licorice or the fennel, thankfully. I'm, I'm actually kind of glad I'm not. So, mm. Alright, yeah, that's pretty good. So, this is definitely one um, I will definitely finish. Um, I would... I would give it maybe, I've had some other really good ones, so ranking it about in the middle isn't really bad for the tea. Mm. You get that kind of pepperminty, um, I don't know, that kind of minty aftertaste in your mouth that kind of coats your mouth, so that's kind of interesting. You can tell it's definitely got some, uh, probably some peppermint oil in it, that's my guess, Then that's why it's kind of coaty. But I don't mean that in a bad way, it's actually good, so, hi. Have you finally settled down? Right, what am I about to finish the, the video? Okay. Anyways, so, um, yeah, it's just, that's pretty good. That's definitely one that I would recommend uh, if you like peppermint. Um, like I said, I, I don't, sorry about the beeps. Um, I don't really taste the licorice or the anise in it. Um, you know, obviously your mileage may vary, but um, if you like a good peppermint tea, something that's going to be... Uh, since it's an herbal and there's no caffeine in it, um, something that would actually be good for uh, right before bedtime. And that's definitely one I'd recommend. Um, all right. Well, I guess I will talk to you guys hopefully tomorrow. Bye.